Well, it was through a program for the youth here at the Capitol. Katie turned a terrifying situation from her family's past into law. So now anytime an inmate escapes and you're within 40 miles, you'll get an alert straight to your phone. So, like everybody's recognizing me, but like she's the real hero because like she's the one that survived it and where I got the idea. So she is Katie Sue Edelin's aunt, a woman kidnapped by escaped inmates back in 2006. But I just remember growing up, everybody always talked about it and it, it just like really scared me. And like because like that's my worst fear now, really. It's just because I heard up hearing about that story. So it was just scary. And just so I think it's cool that something can like prevent that now. Now, House Bill 1546, recently signed into law by Governor Kevin Stitt, would direct the Department of Corrections to develop an orange alert system to notify any resident within a 40 mile radius of each correctional facility of an escaped inmate. Yeah, I know that I've, I'll feel a lot better just because if you get that notification, you know, OK, I probably need to stay in my house and stay around adult. Rep Anthony Moore, the author of this bill, says, quote, this is phenomenal work by a young woman who took a frightening personal experience and turned it into law that will better protect all Oklahomans. My FFA advisor sent me, me and my friend, and we just, you had to create a bill and like you got to just go through the whole legislative process and you got to present it and every, everybody had one. There were some really other good ideas. So it was just cool just to see how the whole process works. And now a small idea could potentially save lives. Katie's aunt said in a statement, quote, Katie's work on the passing of the orange alert signals, another forever change for Oklahomans. She's brought a ray of sunshine to a dark situation. And these alerts would just be like Amber alerts, so they'll be sent straight to your phone. This bill becomes effective November 1st.